internet! This week, why a PhD makes you a jack of all trades and a master of one. One of the many benefits of doing a PhD is picking up a lot of transferable skills. While my PhD is in medical imaging, I've done lots outside of this. I've learned to program. Well, learned to program better. Demonstrating. It's a lot of fun and it gives you some extra money. Make sure to wear a jacket with elbow pads, they will respect you. I've learned to program an MR scanner, which is pretty cool. And involved an all expensive paid trip to Germany. To the Black Forest region. So much ghetto. Time management. You have to learn to manage your time, otherwise you're never going to get anything done. And as I've said before, if you do waste time, it's your own time you're wasting. Learning to control your own deadlines is difficult. But when you achieve it, you will be super employable. I've learned how to correctly ponder. I have learned an awful lot of biology. I kind of understand how the brain works. And I understand a lot about stress. Sometimes I'm not entirely sure if it wasn't me who was being experimented upon. I've also picked up a correct beard growing technique. Along with Wheezy Waiter patented grooming. I've learned how to look like someone out of Breaking Bad. I've learned how to explain my research to a variety of different audiences. I do imaging and stuff. MRI scanners are like a loudspeaker. There's like a wire and a big magnet and stuff. I've learned how to use an MRI scanner, which is pretty cool. And superconducting magnets are extremely cool. And I've gotten surprisingly good at making MRI scanner shaped cakes. I picked up a surprising amount of psychology. I've learned about a variety of fungal infections. They're all horrible. Ain't I just a fun guy to be with? I've got pretty good at traveling to places. By planes, trains, and automobiles. I've learned LaTeX. And I also apply my scientific know-how to tea. I've learned how to juggle all the things. Not like this. No, I mean learning how to effectively juggle work and social life. I've picked up a bit of HTML along the way. And I'm now just amazing at data entry. And I've got pretty good at doing references. More on that story in a future video. I've learned how to manipulate images and how a computer image actually works. Again, more on that in a future video. I hope this week you've enjoyed me rambling about the various types of things you can do on a PhD. And if you're considering one, you can see just how many different transferable skills you'll get out of it. That's what business is like. And then they give you money. Ching. And if you have any questions about what it's like to do a PhD, post them in the comments and I'll make a video about them. And I think next week, I'm going to talk about referencing. Toodle Pipsky! Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. And the types of PhD available in the UK. So why should you do a PhD? You really want to be an academic or do research? It's the standard way in. You're really interested in a specific area of research and want to pursue it to a higher level. 